Let us look at some of the factors that influence the nucleation process. The following factors are important. Degree of supercooling, viscosity, sample size, and mechanical vibration. Now the rate of nucleation remains very low at low degrees of supercooling. But below some critical value, lowering of temperature increases the rate of nucleation. We will see that in this figure where we have rate of nucleation on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis. Note that the temperature decreases towards the right hand side. It goes from 0 to minus 50 degrees C. If you look at these plots, the red plot is for heterogeneous nucleation, the blue plot is for homogeneous nucleation. Note that heterogeneous nucleation occurs more readily at low levels of supercooling. In other words, at higher temperatures than that required for homogeneous nucleation. You can see from the curve for heterogeneous nucleation that the rate of nucleation begins to increase at a much higher temperature than for homogeneous nucleation for which you have to supercool your sample to much lower temperatures. The second factor is the viscosity of a food sample. It increases with decreasing temperature. At some low temperature, the increased viscosity reduces the rate of nucleation. For example, for pure water, a decrease in nucleation is seen around minus 100 degrees Celsius. However, the uh, practical implication of this is not very significant because we don't really go down to those low temperatures. Sample size affects the rate of nucleation. At a lower degree of supercooling, heterogeneous nucleation occurs more rapidly for a large sample size. The increased rate of nucleation uh, is due to more nucleating agents that will be present for a larger sample. Mechanical vibration of the sample during supercooling also enhances the rate of nucleation. This is also called dynamic nucleation. Studies have shown that a small sample of pure water will exhibit homogeneous nucleation at minus 40 degrees C, heterogeneous nucleation at minus 4 degrees C, and dynamic nucleation, if mechanical vibration is present, at minus 0 0.5 degrees C. In other words, dynamic nucleation will occur at much higher temperature than homogeneous or heterogeneous nucleation. Among the possible reasons for dynamic nucleation is the sudden change in pressure or in the local temperature due to evaporative cooling of cavitation bubbles.